Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. We are going to talk about turning tools today. Just absolutely base, entry level, never ground once, scared to death, what do I do kind of lesson. And everybody has to start somewhere. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to just assume that we're going to turn this piece of aluminum down with the tool. Now, the most basic thing you can think of when it comes to grinding a tool is you need top relief. This is extreme. You don't want that much because it'll the edge will break down, the tool will dig into the part, whatever. But a couple of degrees on the top, a couple of degrees on the back. Regardless of whether this is the top or the face, or this is the top or the face, and I'll show you that in a second. You have to maintain one philosophy for the tool to perform well. The slope, as you can see, the slope right there, got, a, got an arrow on it for you, that has to be opposite the direction of the cut. So as you're coming into this part and you are cutting, you can see the arrow down slope. That's like opposite the direction that the carriage is moving. Now you can get away coming across with it, but drastically presented here, you can see that the tip of the tool may be on center, but as the tool relief comes into play, it's no longer on center, and it's going to start to drag. It's not going to have the same shearing action as it does up here at the tool. So going across with a tool like this, you would need a lot lighter depth of cut in order to be successful. All right, so what do you do? Boom. There you go. This would be a facing type setup. We are going across the part. Opposite the direction, there's your slope. Away you go. That is simple. That is about as easy as it gets when it comes to putting relief on a tool bit. I don't care if you have a tombstone or an allurist post or what other kind of tool holders you're going to use, tool post setups that you have. When I see somebody move their allurist block to, throw, to kick their tool, I just want to throw something at the computer. So I figured I had to make this video and just lay, hey look, this is Lathe Grinding Tools 101. A little bit of top rake, a little bit of front rake. If you are coming across, you don't want a flat side because as you engage the part, the chances of it grabbing, chattering, whatever. So a little bit of back relief on it so that you end up with a situation where this is relieved back here. Okay simple. Now let's talk about, hey, just stick a scale between the part and the tool to get your center. Well, not always true. You can see with a tool like this that has a round on it, a radius, that this end of the radius is different than this end of the radius because of that top rake. Correct? Yes. So that means as you come across with this tool, if you were to use this as a facing tool, and when you have a radius on it, sometimes you can get away with it on a light cut. When it comes to center, as you back out and come around, you are using the low spot on that radius and not the high spot. I hope you can see that. This would be the high spot. This would be the low spot. Just like going down a twisty mountain road. You make that corner, you're going downhill as you make that corner. So when you come out of the corner, you're lower than you are when you went into the corner. Same thing. So if you stick a scale between your tool and your part and say, okay, now the scale is straight up, well, you're registering on the low spot. And when you come around the face, and at the very end, the tool goes, whoop, jumps over the center, and you get this little bugger hanging on the end. That's why. Keep this in mind, guys. If you're going to use a turning tool as a facing tool, make sure the cuts are light or it's a flatter profile on top and you have the same grind in the front and same thing goes for here. If you're going to use a facing tool for a turning tool make sure you have more aggressive grind in the front and the top is not as aggressively pitched like this. Simple. Keep that in mind. You keep that in mind and you're always starting the right spot. Thanks for watching.